welcome back let's look at what are variables for that I'm going to create a new file called basic start pie so we can create as many file as we want and here I'm going to create our first variable let's say employee name EMP name and then I'm going to store the value called John Doe. Similarly, I can create employee age. And here I can store, let's say, 32. I can have another variable to store the employee salary, which will be a decimal value number. If I say 3456.89 Similarly, I can continue to store any kind of data in different variables. So you just give it a name and then assign the value. So the name becomes the name of the variable and this value is being now stored in this variable. So what happens if I just try to repeat this variable and store a different value? So if I say employee name equal to Jack. So now this means that this value inside this variable was replaced by another value of similar type string. If I remove this and just store let's say 23, that is also fine, which now it means that this string was replaced or the name or was replaced with a number. So Python automatically interprets the data type of the value it is storing. So there is no harm in doing this. But we also can restrict a variable to store a specific type of data with the help of data type that we are going to learn in future videos. So let me comment this. So in Python to comment one line we can just say hash and that's going it's going to comment that particular line of code which means compiler is not going to execute this line of code which is commented comments means interpreter or the python compiler is not going to execute this code for us in case of python it is interpreter who is not going to execute the code for us can i store more than one values yes we can so let's say employee hobbies so i can say running cooking playing so i can store in one variable multiple values so this can be multiple values of string like this or multiple values of decimal or integer anything so this is something called as list type of data this is number this is string and this is kind of list because it is storing more than one value inside it we are going to learn more about them in future what are list but for now just understand that we can store almost anything inside a variable so we can also declare variables in one line like let's say i want to declare this employee age here so i can say employee age and then use the value 32 here for now i will comment this as well so i can say the hash so what this will do is in the same line i can call the comma separated and give it name and value here so first the interpreter will assign name with John Doe, age with 32 and if there was something else it is going to continue to assign. So in this way we can declare variables in, and their values in one line as well. So now it's time to go ahead and print this variable value. So I will say employee name then print employee age print employee salary print 
blur all these. Here we have some names because we haven't run this, so just make make sure this file is selected and right click on this and run basics. And now you got this in the basics and you can run it from here as well. Also on the drop down you can choose which file you want to run from here. Otherwise you can always go to the file, whether this file and do right click and run or this file right click and run. So let's check what was the output of running this. So here we have we have the output. So first it printed parent by name, whose value it was from here, then enter age, whose value came from here, employee salary and employee hobby. So in this way in Python we can create variables and assign values to them. So we are going to create lots of variables in future in my program and assign dynamic values to those variables based upon certain calculations or logic. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.